welcome. We welcome you this evening with Kids Corner from Disciple Group. We are gathered tonight with the kids. We have in the panel Sister Gabrielle. We have Sister Samara. We have Brother Chris. We have Brother Benjamin. We have Brother Jacob. Lordly. Sister Nellyn with us tonight from Kids Corner. And we're going to have Brother Jacob studying with the, for us with a prayer. Benjamin. Okay. Hello. Um, uh, thank you, God, for this wonderful morning. Thank you for for waking up early in the morning to to be okay. Help us to do fine in this um, kids' corner. Help us to be uh, kind to one another. Help us to do good. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. As we just said, we're going to talk about the love of God. That's what the kids are choosing for tonight. Uh, for the beginning, we're going to have Sister Gabrielle with a verse that's going to read for us. So my verse was John chapter 15, verse 12. My command is love each other as I love you. The meaning to me was that my command from Jesus is to love each other and everyone as I love him. Okay. As you hear that, Sister Gabrielle just read uh, John 15, verse 12, where God gives us the command to love one another. That's his command. He tells us to love one another as we love him. So if there's anyone else that's want to explain that, how you're going to love one another as you love Christ. I think that when you love somebody else besides because God said you need to love somebody else before you love him so if you love yourself and respect yourself you will love each other and if you will love God and you respect God and you follow um, what God is saying um, you will love one another I think that's that's how I explain the verse because if you love your um, one another you will love God and God will love you. Amen, amen, amen. Is there anyone else that wanna say something? How they see the voice? How you love someone else as you love God? And the Bible says it clearly, if you don't see God and you say you love him, so all you cannot love the one that you see, like your neighbors. We see one another. So if I see that, I see Brother J Benjamin is sitting next to me. And if I don't have the love for Benjamin, so I cannot see that I love God that I don't see. The Bible says clear. So if you don't see God, you cannot say you love God that you don't see and you don't love your neighbors. That's one of the first commandments he said to us to love one another. So is anyone else want to quote to that? How you can love your neighbors? like if you um like sharing what you like if you love something really much and then somebody asking you like if you like share it without even a doubt i feel like it's basically the same thing with god because god give us um life he give us a lot of things that we didn't like he didn't um have to do it he didn't have to do it but he did it freely and he loved it so i feel like if we do the same thing like we give each other we love each other the same way no hate like we do we do it like with all our love like if somebody asks for a piece of bread you give him without saying oh if i give you that you have to give me any change because god like when he give us something he doesn't ask in, re in return in return mm -hmm. like he doesn't ask anything he just um give it to us amen amen anyone else When we look at the love of God, the greatest love that God showed us, who could say it? What God did for us that showed us his love for us. Anybody knows? Okay, Brother Benjamin. Um, he, 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 he treat, his son died, died for us. He forgave our sins. Uh, he, uh, he, he, um, did miracles to help us. And that's all I have to say. Yes. 
the greatest love that he showed us, he gave us Christ. Mm -hmm. He gave us his only God and son to die for us on the cross. So that's the greatest love for God, for us that God show us. Uh, now we're going to have Brother Jacob that's going to read for us from Romans 5, verse 5. And hope may be not ashamed, because the love of God is shed, shedded aboard the heights of by, by the ghost, with the Holy Ghost, which is given up to us. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Did uh, anyone understand what Brother Jacob just read? He was reading from Roman 5, verse 5. Anyone want to quote unto that he was reading? Hmm? Uh, can, yeah. can, can you read it again, please? Go in your Bible and open it. Roman 5, verse 5. Well, he said the love of God gives us by his spirit. Woman 5 verse 5. Mm. You want to read it, sis? Just tell me you want to read it. You want to read it out loud? Okay, you understand what it said? Wait, what was the question again? Verse 5. He said that God, we, we, God, that God, God give us His love, and He showed it by the Holy Spirit that is in us. Mm -hmm. You could go, sis. Wait, isn't it like you don't have to be ashamed of the love of God? Mm -hmm. Cause He gave us like His love and his, um, his hope that you don't have to be ashamed of it. Like there's some people they're ashamed to say they're Christian because the the way the world sees Christian. Like the way they grew up being Christian, like oh, um, being Christian is being being Christian. Oh, you have to go. That's a certain way you have to be, and it is right. That's a certain way you have to be, but like there's other ways too. Like you don't have to be ashamed because God wasn't ashamed to send His only Son to to save us all. So I think. For, I think um, the message is telling us that you don't have to be ashamed of the love of God because he wasn't ashamed the, um, to send his, uh, his only son to save us. Amen, amen, amen. Okay. Brother Benjamin, you have something to say about that? Mm, no. Okay, so now we're going to go. You could do your reading, Brother Benjamin. We're going to read from 1 John 4, verse 8 for us. Verse 8. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. No. Just one John uh, chapter 4, verse 8. Okay. Mm -hmm. he, he that loveth no knoweth not God, for God is love. Okay. Anyone understand that one? You say it again? Yes, I do understand that. That meant that. God, he loves us for us, and he wouldn't make us change for the world. Amen, amen. What about you, Brother Benjamin? Are you just with it or you understand it? Mm. Um, I'm going to go with Gabby, what she said. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes, because for the love of God, there's nothing that could change our love for the God. When we read the Bible, it says there's nothing in this world that could compare to the love of God. So at the same point, there's nothing that will separate us from the love of God have for us. And it's the same way we have to love God, the same way. <coughs> yes. 
Amen. 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 Pause, then I put on it in quelques minutes. Welcome back. Nous dit tout le monde bonsoir. Nous saluons tout auditeur qui branche à soya ensemble avec nous dans Kids Corner dans l'après-midi. N'a côté groupe disciple qui sont en groupe prière line. Nous gagne prière nous chaque lundi de lundi à vendredi de 8h à 9h et nous gagne Bible study le mercredi de 8h30 à 10h30. Ah, ou capable tande nous sur internet, ou capable aller dans www.groupedisciple.com, dans Facebook, c'est groupe disciple TV. Na Instagram c'est groupe disciple et nous na Twitter téléphone prière line nous c'est 646 749 3112 et accès code pour capable entrer dans ligne c'est 532 1686 13 nous là de lundi à vendredi de 8h à 9h côté que nous gain prière line nous qui ouvre chaque soir côté que n'a pas éduqué n'a fait parole n'a prié pour bon Dieu groupe là c'est groupe disciple en action nous réunis après-midi encore ensemble avec Kids Corner we here with all sisters and the brothers we have brother benjamin we have sister gabriel we have sister J- uh, brother jacob brother Chris, and we have sister len no as i'm avec no as we are in a minute sir at this point we're gonna have for us verse john 3 verse 16 john 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so as long as you believe in god you will be with him forever in heaven amen amen as we hear that we're talking about the love of god we're gonna have some question for the youth for our for our kids corner at this moment how as you're growing up in your community and your school how you show others that you have the love of god inside of you And if you find something on the floor, ask who is it? Amen. Mm. Who else? Well, just like he said, by being different and then by standing out. When I say by standing out, it's um by helping others, um being good, like make your parents proud, always like um. I always do I, it's I know we humans and we don't really it's hard for us to be good all the time because we humans but like you know always listen to what the parents say because 
like they know what they're saying because they've been here longer than us even though it's hard sometimes like there's new technologies or some things they don't know like listening to them because they know it and then um the word of god never changes it's it was here long 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 time ago so it's the same but like taught differently so me by how i stand out um it's by being different in a way that others might not not do the, um, the things that others gonna do like be a good kid always have good grades always going to school come back home don't lie about where you are because it's a lot of problems like there's a lot of problems out there like my mom always telling me like if you're going somewhere tell her because she's gonna get w worried like if she calling you and you don't pick up and you come home late she's gonna get worried she's gonna be like where are you and if you lie it's gonna get worse and worse and worse because the trust is going to go away so trust is one thing because like god trusts us to do the right thing that's why like it's always telling us like you know if you lie like don't lie because like he trusts us so i think like by standing out and by doing the right thing and listening to god makes you different than the others amen 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 How you show the love of God where you're going and your um, school and your neighborhood how uh, you show that by being kind to one another in school helping a friend out in need like like in school where we have like bullies that's a huge problem we could help people by not being bullied to one another by telling a, an, an adult or a teacher and we could and we could um we could be um we could be uh safe cuz we know that cuz like um like not like gnarly said like gnarly said that we we have to be that so we can't go somewhere without asking an adult or lying to to them or else they would be real worried and it it's hap it's happened uh, a few times it in the world and some people got caught uh got caught from the police asking where they're going they lie and like how some kids when they go somewhere they end up in the hospital from an accident or something so so just like what gnarly said she's uh i'm trying to i'm trying to say that we have to be kind to one another in school at or even at work or um at home and we have to be we have to be safe or uh around people outside outside in the outside world when we're going some places and that's all i'm gonna say many many men that's true because if you say you love, you have to make sure you care. Love gives us caring. Yes. So if I say that I love you, I have to show you that I care for you. If you're sick, I have to take care of you. If we're in the house, I cannot say bad words to you. I have to show you respect. That's one of the words when you see that's combined with love. You have to show respect. Because if you say you love someone, you cannot say, you cannot say words that you're not going to hurt that person. Yep. So that's what it's have to. You have to be... A little bit harsh and talking because you cannot say any words and you say you love me while you say you love me and you're telling me words that are gonna hurt me so that's one of the things God teach us we have to be know what you were saying and you know your the words from our mouth have a lot of powerful it's very powerful what we say from our mouth and with our mouth we could bless and we could curse so we have to make sure as kids we know exactly what to say with one another when you're playing on the playground when you're at school you have to show respect to one another. That doesn't mean that you know you 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 you're scared of that person. You have to show that person love, no matter what. Even though if in your classmate one of them say they don't love you, say you know what, you maybe don't love me, but me I have to love you because that's Christ told me. 
I'm a disciple of Christ. I have to love you no matter what. Because God gave me the commitment. I have to obey that commitment to love you. Because you're going to find people that don't want to say they don't love you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Some people are not going to love you, but who cares? They didn't love Christ. If they did love him, they wasn't going to crucify him. But he'd accept the crucifixion because of us. So he put the example laying down a line for us so we could know that we have to love despite of anything. Even that person say they don't love you, you still have to find a way to love them. So that's when God, that when it's come with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit going to guide us. He's going to give us courage to accept everything so we could love that person. Sister Gabriel, you have something to say about that? Yes. Um, the way that you can show kindness to me is like, if you know there's a new student in your school and you see them sitting down by the, their self, you could go sit with them because that's showing kindness. Like in third grade, we went to go see the movie Wonder and it was this boy that he was the disabled. His face was not right and people said ill to him and stuff. And then there was about like three kids that only um, cared about him and like cared and didn't worry about his face, just worried about his personality and his feelings. So that's how I show kindness. Amen, amen. Brother Chris, you have anything to add to that? About kindness is that even though someone gets you mad, you still have to be kind. Um, if you say sorry, uh, you have to make sure that you forgive that person because that is something that God wants us to do, to forgive people and just respect uh, other people's property so again if you see someone's pencil or anything on the floor go and pick it up even if like you hate them or ha they hate you amen amen we have to show love anywhere we go that's what the bible said and that's what god gave us as a commandment we have to love one another no matter what happening no matter what come our way we still have the love because if we say that we love god we don't see him and we don't love our neighbors. So who are you going to show love to? You cannot show love to God. Because when you love your neighbor, you're going to make sure you know how he's doing. You're going to find out how you're doing, Brother Jacob, today. I have to know how you're doing. I cannot just see you and just say, okay, I love Brother Jacob and I don't show you love. We have to show the love. You say the love, but you have to show it. I have to ask you how you're doing. I have to check on you, make sure that you're okay. If I don't see you, I could give you a phone call. Those are the ways you show that you love one another. As a Christian, we have to show our love one another because we don't see God. That's what the Bible said. If we don't see God and we say we love him, so what about the one that is next to us? Your neighbors, your classmates, your co-workers, you have to show them love. And you have to separate yourself because you're not like them. You are Christian. And you have to show that you are Christian and you're working with God. Because when the love of God is inside of us, it makes us different. And we have to build that relationship that we have with God. And we have to walk in the love of God every day in our life. That's our pathway of life as a Christian that we have to go through. We're going to take one pause and we will be back.
welcome back to with kids corner again now we have the kids gonna show you how they love god we have brother benjamin that you're gonna hear now that's gonna tell you how he love god showing his love for god so sh for showing my love to god i will do a devotion for everybody so i the, the devotion that i'm reading is james chapter 1 verse 17. every good gift and every perfect gift is from a blood it's from above and cometh down from from the father father of lights with whom is no va variableness neither shadow of turning amen amen now we're gonna have sister gabrielle that's gonna tell us about her devotion this morning my devotion was Psalm 19, verse 14. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies and and as much as all in all riches. That means to me that like um don't like just use your testimony as show like because God wanted to give you a testimony and the test your testimony comes from your heart not from your head so you should you should use your testimony like it's a thousand dollars yeah amen amen brother Chris my devotion is Psalm 48 verse 9 to 14 uh, in verse 14 it says he will be our God even to the end so even till you die um, and no one sees you again he will still always be there for you Amen, Amen Sister Nelly um, How I show um, my love for God um, it's not I don't have a typical um, verse because it's like everyday life for me. Um, the way I show um, God my love is um, my teacher told me once that you um, you have to lose yourself to be able to love one another. Like you have to be humble just like Jesus did, like, you have to be less than what you think you are, because God died, he was um, killed, he was um, hurt by humans like us, so we less than God, because God is God, and we just humans, so by being humble and listening to one another and not thinking that oh I'm the I'm like I'm the big person like if you have a lot of money oh I have a lot of money and you you don't have an, um, enough money it's by being humble and know who you are cause you less than who you are cause if you think that you more than what you are God will show you that you nothing you just sin and you're gonna die just by being a sin I see like, nothing else um that's how i that's ex that's what i stood up to me because my teacher was telling me that and i was like that's so right because we nothing god created us we nothing that if god can be killed for us we are nothing amen 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 amen, amen. amen. brother jacob you have anything to say from all they, they've been saying, you don't have anything to say? How to show your love for God? You can show your love for God by... by, by growing nature and helping poor people. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Because God said to show his love, we have to feed the poor and clothe the needed. That's one of the commitments we have to do. You want to say something, Brother yeah. Benjamin? Uh, I'm going to 
Uh, yes, Jacob Dot. Thank you for that comment. And You're yes, welcome. because poor people are everywhere. Like you see a lot of poor people in New York City. You see some people on the on the in the alleys. Like when I went to a New York New York City for a Christmas show, I see a poor a poor man on the streets, and I felt so bad for him. But I didn't have any money, so I had to walk away. Amen. 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 Me, um, me, like I don't honestly. It's not all about money when it comes to poor people. Like you can't teach him God. Like if you like, let them know that God loves yes, them too. Yes, like you can have a conversation with them, talk to them. But like that's something. Like the way that some people like they don't know how to approach to people that don't know God. They say like, oh, God is the way. Like oh, there's no other way. But like. If somebody doesn't know what way it is, like you have to show them that that's the only way. Like express like the way you talk, the way your mindset is, like you have to show them that mm, he's probably right. Like that person that follows God, he's probably right. Like he is right. That's the only way. There's no other way. So I think for poor people or homeless people or people who don't know God, that's like a way for you to uh, um, talk to them. It's not all about, oh, he needs money, he needs food. That's always like, that's, o that's only, um, that's like, the beginning. yeah, that's always like a new beginning. Like, there's always another way for you to, like, help somebody else. Just by saying hi, like, they'll, um, I'll, um, I'll watch something, right? They said that if you say hi, like, to everybody, like, say hi, be nice and kind to somebody, and they know that you follow God, they will want to follow God just like you. Like, if, if they see that, oh, you always praying, you always have your Bible, you stand out from other people, like, you don't do things that other people do, like, you don't like certain things that other people do, just, like, by being yourself, the way you express yourself, you don't have to go talk to that person you can just express yourself they will see that mm, that person like he's so different than others let me see why you're so different so they're gonna follow you they're gonna be like oh hey like i see you different than others and you'll be like god like god made me different so i think the way you act the way you respond and the way you think um helps a lot when it comes to like you teaching others about God, not just by actions. Cause like you can be, there's a lot of people that give money to poor people, but they don't do it with their but heart. They don't, but like they don't do it with their heart. They just wanna like, oh, you know, I give money to the poor people. I look good. But like an in inside, you like, you not like that good person that other people see, but like, by your actions, by like, you know, standing out in the crowd. That's why God said like, we're not in the world. We're not in the world. Cause like we stand out from other people. Cause like, we don't see the same way they see. They see all oh, pleasure, um, parties. They see all those things. They see like, oh, I wanna look good for other people. So let me give money or oh, let me give a house. Let me give you what you want for me to look good. But like, when you actually like, put your heart and soul to give others what you need, God will get um God, God will give it um give it back. Like somehow, it doesn't have to be money. It might be health, cause like there's a lot of people that's dying, like buying, and then they want health but they can't. Like if you wake up every day like you healthy. Like, you, you need to be thankful, and you need to give others, because, like, God give you another day to live. Amen. Yes. Yes. Good That's job. That's a good way. That's a good way. We have to set ourselves separate. It's not the money that helping another. You know, a hug could make a big difference in somebody's life. Yes. Saying good morning, how you doing, could make a difference in somebody's <laughs> life. Because, like, there's some people, like, they don't show that they're in pain. Mm -hmm. But you saying hi, how are you, like, asking them... How, how how was your day? Mm -hmm. mm, actually, made, make a big difference. Yes, make, make a, a big, big difference. difference. Than you being rude, you being uh, um like oh I don't 
Like that's that's not my business. Like, because little thing that we do that's yes. show the love. That's what we have to do. We don't have to be doing big. Yes, we, don't we don't have to have give to, money. Yes, we don't have to show. Like when you others. go to the supermarket, if you see somebody with a with a bag that they cannot carry, could say, "Can I give you a hand? Let me take you to your car." That's showing kindness. That's yes. love. We don't have to give money to give them, because God said we have to give what we have. Huh? Yes. So He gave son so we have a lot of things that we could give to another i could give you a hand mm. i could come to your house and help you clean i could go to the laundry for you if you cannot do it but we have to do it out with love because if you do it to show like sister nelly said if we do it for to show it to other people that we're serving god god not gonna take part of it because he said that whatever the left hand do the right hand doesn't have to know about it that's one of the things whatever the with but what they have to do with it because it's between me and Nelly that's how we show love we don't go and show off yes. and we have to separate ourselves as children of God we cannot do everything that other kids at the school doing so we have to show love even you see somebody's battling somebody else that's bully someone you could go and say you know that's not the right things to do you cannot bully her, bully that person because that's not nice you know you could cause a lot of things to that person you're gonna put their self-esteem down so some people when they're doing that you could go and talk to that person if it was you how you was gonna feel if somebody do that to you and you always praying with them encourage them to read the bible tell them do they know about jesus that's a way of showing them love because some of the kids they go to, they go to school with you they sit sitting next to you they don't even know nothing about christ their parent doesn't show them we say thanks god because your parents know christ and he bring you to the light so some of them doesn't know that's a way of showing love teach them tell them that christ loved them he died on the cross for them and he will return for them do they want to have eternal life with them or they want to go die in hell because it's true as you are young we die we all we die so we have to start preparing our future right we here with god so you have to teach your friends your classmates to know about god you are an evangelist for god you have to let them know that god is real it's not a it's not a joke it's not a play. It's not a fairy tale. It's not yes. A yeah, because he's like real and like nobody would be that real to you. God is real and he gave his only son and he saved his sins for the world. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Brother Jacob. Amen. And he paid the price for us. That's why we're all here today. We're all here today. And I applause every one of you for being here here tonight taking time from your busy schedule especially we know it's easter it's everybody fine. will be ready to go to church tomorrow and everybody that was listening that give us our ear their ears to listen to kids corner today with us from this go the sip we thank god for you we invite you again to listen to our radio um program we there monday to friday from eight to nine we have bible study on wednesday night from 8 30 to 9 to 10 30 and we have um, our phone number to put for the prayer line is 646-749-3112. The access code is 532-168613. Nous saluons tout le monde qui t'a écouté nous. Et nous disons merci de ce côté. Allez, écoute ensemble avec nous. Nous sommes groupe disciples. La voix directe de l'évangile. Prier ligne nous, c'est 646-749-3112. Et access code nous, c'est 732 16 86 13. Nous là de lundi au vendredi de 8h à 9h. Les mercredis, nous avons uh, étude biblique de 8h30 à 10h30. Et au capable les radio, le numéro nous c'est 516 673 43 516 673 407. Et au cap suivre nous sur Facebook qui groupe 17 TV et au capable dans internet www.groupe17.com, nous Instagram groupe 17 et dans Twitter capable suivre nous que bon Dieu bénisse nous. Bonne écoute et nous disons à Monissa, Seigneur Ali, à prier pour nous, pour nous capables de clôturer le programme à soi. Merci Jésus pour que. Pour... Merci Jésus pour que nous avons une opportunité pour que nous réunions ensemble et pour parler de vous, Seigneur. Parce que il y a un peu de monde qui a besoin de ça, Seigneur. Il y a un peu de monde qui a besoin de tendre sa jeune pensée. Seigneur, merci pour réunir nous, fait que nous pas et merci pour journée que nous 
pour un Seigneur. Merci pour ce maintenant. Merci pour moi. Merci pour mon capteur de nous, Seigneur. Protégez-nous, bénissez-nous. Um, protégez tout le monde qui a de nous, Seigneur. Faites que chaque monde qui est là, rentre là, car il bien, Seigneur. Et merci pour tout encore. Um, bénissez, protégez um, tout le monde et, qui est là, qui est Haïti, qui n'est pas de côté. Seigneur, merci pour tout encore. Amen. 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 Amen